What's up, mechanics? Hope everyone had a good weekend. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the Vim Tools headquarters for another episode of Tool Tuesday. Specifically, PTT for Prototype Tuesday, baby. Prototype Tuesday. We're going to talk about some things that we have coming already that you haven't seen yet and some things that you know we are trying to decide whether or not to bring in, and we're going to leave that up to you. Now, you may notice that we're wearing the same clothes as last week. No, Michael's not a stinky little boy. We actually are filming these back-to-back -back because next week I am unfortunately not going to be here. My wife's cousin has a wedding in Barcelona, which we will be attending. So I will be unable to film with Michael. And again, he could do this on his own, but I figured and we figured it'd be more beneficial to see us both here as opposed to so we just do them back-to-back again. Yeah, it's a little boring when it's just me or just you. It is. It's more boring. He could have someone else on. You could you could bring Bang Bang on. You could you could talk about you know his his double buckled ankle and all that. <laughs> we could talk about his ankles, his recent doctor appointment, <laughs> his MRI, <laughs> his MRI, his lost wallet. <laughs> yeah, if he's gotten his cards back. Tell you what, you get to know Ben. It's, there's a lot to that story. There's a lot to that to the to the man behind the the gum. The man behind the hat. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do you want to start with first? So we will start with you want to start with a definite that is for sure coming in no matter yes. what. Yes. This guy right here. I believe we've talked about it once before. Can you hear me the other one? Again. Give me the other one. The NR400, which is the stubbiest bit ratchet you'll ever see. Look at that little guy. Look how dirty it is. Look how small. Boom. Vim's NR400. Super stubby, quarter inch bit driver, has a thumb wheel. Super stubby. It's got to come in a kit with this extension, the same one that comes in the RFB400K. And I know some of you are thinking it. No, it does not pass through. This one does not because the head of this tool is actually not thick enough to fit that head kit for it to pass through. We tried. It didn't work out that way. So we have this in the extension. Now, what shall I do with it, you say? I believe it's coming with a square drive as well, right? Yeah. You should get, yeah, you get a square drive with it as well. So you can obviously use it as a regular extension. Now, blah, 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 da, 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 da. You can use it as a regular length. What well, is not regular length? This is still pretty short. This is still, what, four and a half inches? I mean, something. but it's a yeah. low profile bit ratchet at that point. Still still pretty low profile and stubby, right? But another, so another function would be sticking a stitch in here. And now, you have an L key. You can stick any bit in there, and now you can get a little bit more torque out of it. At an angle. So it's a pretty versatile little tool here. It's gonna be relatively inexpensive. Would this make a good addition to your toolbox? Let us know in the comments. Do you think this you'll find a use for this and that you'd want to have this in your toolbox? It's actually pretty comfortable when you hold it this way. And you just kind of grab it like that and you just super low it, profile. It we are comfy. the kings of tight access. And I mean it looks like a regular ratchet it's like pretty, that. Pretty neat. It's a pretty neat little tool. And then bloop. Let us know your thoughts. That's the NR400K, which will be here uh, next month. Next month it should be here. Yeah. Okay, that is the one thing that we are for sure bringing in. Now we're going to have a bunch of definitely maybes, and you're going to tell us whether or not you think they should come to market, whether or not they should come to market with a different thing to them, or if you should just altogether dump it in the trash. I want to know what you guys think before we bring them in. So, Michael, I will let you start with the... <clears throat> yeah, zero degree ratchets. So here's a ratchet, right? It's, this is a quarter inch. This way to reverse it, you just push that through this way. But how is it zero degree? Just like that. All you do is turn the handle and it turns the anvil. There you go. Turn the handle, it turns the anvil. And uh, yeah, so it's just reversing. You just push the square drive one way or the other. And you've probably seen these before. But people were asking for them in different sizes. Different the people wanted them in a more professional quality because all the ones you see are pretty much like some Chinese Amazon brand yep. or something. So we decided to do it right. Um, and these are the samples. So we have the quarter inch. Yep. We have the three eighths. We have the half inch. And their various lengths, obviously. Yes. And we have a stubby bit. Stubby bit. Magnetic. It's very smooth, listen to that. I think the finish looks great. They are obviously built to a high quality, they're, they're a good product. 
S2, or these, are they S2? I don't think these are S2. <clears throat> no, they're not. No, these are not S2. But as you can see with our other ratchets, we only make stuff that holds up because I don't want to deal with the warranties any more than you want to submit your warranties. Yeah. So you can use it as a normal ratchet, you can use it this way, or you can turn it this way if you're but in a very tight said, spot. Everyone's main thing, what's the torque rating on these bad boys? They're obviously not made for extreme torque, but then again, if you're using it in this manner, you're not going to be able to put out that much torque. If you're really trying to torque something down, I don't recommend you use one of these. I recommend you use a normal ratchet if you're really trying to pull on something. But as far as your hand is turning, I don't think you're going to be able to reach the desired torque to actually break one of these. And another thing that people ask, well, they need to be slimmer. The problem with them being slimmer is that the mechanism in the head, in order for it to actually turn like this, it's too big to make it any slimmer. So yeah, it's not there's a, a lot, possibility. There's a lot going here. on in here. But let's see. Do we have a... These are pretty normal looking. So that blast the... Not the not gonna get three eighths. So three eighths versus three eighths. It's really not crazy different. It's different, but it's not crazy different. But, you know, this will save you a ton of time when you're in a tight spot and not having to actually, you know, ratchet three degrees at a time. Yeah. So, I mean, it's obviously not an ev your everyday ratchet. No, but, but it is something nice to have. Like that, let us know what you think. It is something nice to have in your arsenal. You in case you're in a very tight spot and you don't have one of those, like, like what are they? They're, they're ratchets with no teeth. Gearless? Gearless ratchets. Okay, so those are zero degree ratchets. And now moving on to another form of ratchet that we're coming out with. These are prototypes. We don't have them yet, but I want to know what you guys think. Super stubby flex head ratchets. I mean, check these guys out. This is, I mean, this is tiny, man. This is small. The head is a little bit thick. I want to know what you guys think. If you think it needs to be thinner. These aren't the production no, these finished are samples yet. Of what we're doing samples. So we have obviously the quarter inch square drive. We have the quarter inch square drive and quarter inch bit drive. We have the three eighths and quarter inch drive, and then we have the regular three eighths. Now, is something like this. Useful to you mechanics? Those are all 90 they're teeth. All flex head, 90 teeth ratchets, and I mean, they're listen to them. You can't even hear it, really. Pretty quiet. That's crazy. I can't hear they're that one at all. Super quiet. They did a good job with these. These are super quiet. Yeah, they feel good. Yeah, they feel really good. So. Do you think this is small enough? Is it too small? Is it too thick of a head? Too wide of a head? What do you guys think? We are starting to dabble in the mini flex head ratchet realm. And we're trying to come out with some. I think this is too big. This is and they're quick big. release, except it's for the big. ones that are double-sided. Would you rather them be quick release? Or would you rather them just be regular flat back? I got to say... I prefer quick release. I don't like quick release. A lot of times when not you have we, like a little... Rick, not that we go home and we, you know... A lot of times cars, like with these sockets, bro, that are so low profile, or these right here, they're so hard to pull off, especially when they're all like oily. It's... It, well, that was easy. It's a quick release. <laughs> but <laughs> on a regular ratchet, sometimes I can't pull that shit off. Well, whatever. Anywho. You gotta go... I wanna know what you guys think. I personally think this head is a little bit too big for what it is. I think we can make this a little bit smaller. Do you think this is enough? I mean, it's it's got some weight to it, too. It's not the lightest of things, so it's pretty... I mean, I don't think I see anyone breaking this. This, this sucker is thick. Look how quiet that is. Yeah. That's wild. Super smooth, fine tooth, 92 tooth ratchets. They have part numbers already, so they are coming in, but these aren't the finished... Product. Product. We can change things still, so let us know the changes you'd like to see. This is the time to make a change. Because when you say, well, I wish you would have... That's too late. Yeah. Too late. So let us now know now what changes to make to these, and uh, we can get that done. We have one more thing to show you before we end the show today, Michael. <laughs> you bum. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in here today. In between the cut you just saw, we had someone come in and cause a ruckus. He's just peeking and through Michael, the door. Michael, the lack of a showman that he is, couldn't keep a straight face. Okay. These are. Nail pliers, mechanics nail clippers, but they look like pliers. Uh, <laughs> so just add this on to the gadgets that we That's have. That's a gadget, it's not a tool, it's a gadget. Yeah, just add this on to the gadgets list. Uh, these actually work very well. 
much better than normal nail and clippers. And they're heavy. They're thick. Like, there's some thick boys. If you got them, them big old fingernails. I cut my nails with them today. And, uh, yeah, they work very well. And you there's even thick nails. That's, that's there's even a, a little divot inside that when you clip your nail, so you don't go your nail falls into here and it doesn't fly off. So they work well. And uh, obviously they're got, not going to be some expensive item. But I have to tell you what, these are great pools. for toenails. Because, you know, toenails can be thick. These things just... You got some thick toenails, buddy? I mean, who does any guy yeah, you here... You got some thick boy toenails? You got some thin toenails? Yeah. Yeah. Toenails. No, you look like you got thin toenails. I. That's me. Thin. Very thin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me see, let me see. What are your nails looking like? Here, you can use that. What are you talking about? Get you got a little dirt under there. Okay. We're done here. Okay, uh, till next week. Till next week. Peace. Peace.